Hello and welcome my animalistic leaves. There are many animals Pokemon are based on, but there are far more animals that exist in our world. And while there are pretty cool animals living in our world that could be turned into really interesting Pokemon, there are still a lot of animals missing that are pretty common animals people know. Also, small disclaimer, I'm excluding legendaries and mythicals because I think it should have Pokemon based on these animals that are commonly available. More on that later. First off, we have the common dolphin, the Delphinus Delphis. I know, Japan and dolphins are controversial because they hunt and eat them. But we do have a whale Pokemon as well, which is also something they hunt and eat. Also, we have a cow, which is also eaten. So, make of that what you want. I would say a dolphin would make a good water fairy type. Maybe make it a chibi style pink dolphin that evolves into a more beautiful, longer dolphin. Now, the flamingo. Yes, Spritzy is kinda based on it, but I think we could have a real one. Maybe a fighting flying one that uses kicks to attack the enemy, basically mix up a flamingo with it standing on one leg and martial arts. Wolf. We have several dogs, but no wolf. This is the disclaimer I mentioned in the beginning. Yes, we have Zacian and Zamazenta, which are basically wolves, but as legendaries they aren't commonly catchable. Sure, you have to get one in the story, but even then, many people don't like using legendaries. As for how a wolf could be done, I think it should be an ice type. Wolves come from cooler red regions. And if you ever had a dog, you know they love snow. Maybe give it a silvery blue fur and ears made of ice or something like that. Now a dark bug type. Yes, I hate them too. But they are very necessary to nature. I'm talking about flies. We don't have a fly in Pokemon. Maybe make it one of those Pokemon that are made up of multiple Pokemon, like Fallings. And giving it an ability called Annoyance. That is annoying. Now, the next one already exists, but let me explain. A Crocodile or Alligator Pokemon. Yes, we have Totodile and Crocodile. But what about one that stays four-legged? Maybe a Water Dragon type? How about calling it Alligator and have it live with others that it works together with? So it has a lot of allies. Many people want it and it would make a good water starter. The Platypus. Maybe make it playful and name it Platy Push. Push because it likes to push others around playfully. And it could turn into a Sumo Ringer like Pokemon. Since in Sumo you push your enemy out of the ring. That would make it water fighting of course. We also somehow don't have a Panther Pokemon. This one can't be that hard. Make a dark type and nocturnal, hunting its prey at night by attacking it in surprise. It could just look like a Pokemon style panther. Like a lot of Pokemon basically only look like a more cartoony version of that animal. People would like it, I believe. This should totally be bug dark. Grasshoppers. Maybe another one that is made up of multiple Pokemon, like a swarm of every small ones or something like that. Of course, it needs a Pokedex entry saying how it demolishes fields by eating everything. Another missing bug that is pretty common is the flea. Could again be bug dark, maybe bug poison, and of course should all be about absorbing moves. Maybe give it an ability that has the enemy get itchy, making it to sometimes miss its moves because of that. We also don't have an Orang Utan Pokemon. Normal would probably be best and I would give it long rubbery arms that it can stretch out, so basically like an arms character. If not normal, 
It could also maybe be a grass type and thus its arms could be vine-like. Orca. Yes, Kyogre, but that again is a legendary. It could be based on the combination of light and shadow due to its black and white color, making it psychic dark or fairy dark. Maybe the male ones could be psychic and the females fairy? Would be interesting to have a Pokemon which types based on its gender. Another Pokemon that totally should have gender differences would be a Peacock. Flying should of course be its type. And maybe the males could have Psychic as the second type using its tail feathers to hypnotize its opponents. Now I might have said animals, but there are also plants that we are still missing. A very common plant is the tulip. I think it should be like Flabebe, coming in many colors. Besides the grass type, maybe give it a second type based on its color. Also, many Pokemon are based on Yokai, but we are missing one of the most common Yokai, Kasa Obake. Let's make it Ghost Grass. Grass because these classical umbrellas are made out of bamboo, and also grass is resistant to water which basically an umbrella is as well. A kangaroo. Yes, we have Kangaskhan, but come on. A kangaroo should be swift and nimble, not that tanky. Since they are known for boxing and kicking, fighting is a must. And maybe electric? We are missing an electric fighting type still, and this would work well. Maybe it is only electric in its first stage and then evolves into fighting? This would be a perfect Route 1 Pokemon. A rodent! No, not just any rodent of course. The Capybara. It should be normal type and stay that. And it needs to be one of the most friendly Pokemon. Just make it cute. The Naked Mole Rat is also a good Route 1 candidate as well. As a very good normal type. Make it cute but ugly ugly but cute something like that and i bet it will get its fans how come we still don't have an earthworm make it buck ground give it a drill as a hat done it would be pretty easy also give it a move that is always super effective against ground types since it digs through the ground but make the move itself a ground type as well that uses its drill Another plant that should already be a Pokemon, Tumbleweed. This could be its own Pokemon or maybe a regional form of Tangela. And besides grass, it should be a ghost type since it's basically dead. A real axolotl. The pink smiling one, maybe make it a fairy dragon. With more horns than Wooper has so that it really looks like an axolotl. A cute dragon, but it would be very powerful, so it should be a three-stage evolution pseudo-legendary. Where is the llama or alpaca Pokemon? These animals are so popular, but we still don't have one? Let's make its fur actually be fluffy leaves and turn it into a grass type. Upon evolution, since they are commonly found in Peru, where you will also find Mayan ruins, it will get some gold on it and give it a Mayan look, turning it into a grass steel type. This could even be a starter if done right. These were just some animals and other stuff that are pretty commonly known but still not turned into Pokemon. Tell me in the comments below what kind of animal or plant or whatever you are still missing and wish they would be implemented into the games. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Liefrieb. Bite the like button and tail whip on subscribe and the little bell. And maybe watch one of my other videos if you like. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, B.